Hello, I'm Michael Serafini with PocketEntertainment.com, coming to you from Keys Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. This week we'll be discussing Jeff Johns and the Green Lantern. In 2005, Jeff Johns brought back Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern, a move I initially opposed being a huge fan of Kyle Rayner. But he actually managed to make Hal, who was a dull and boring character before then, interesting, and I've been hooked ever since. You might ask what made Hal Jordan dull and uninteresting. Well, he was a two-dimensional character whose actions were dictated by the fact that DC labeled him a hero. No real motivation for it or anything, he just was one. He had potential in the 1970s when Denny O'Neill was writing him, but once that ended, he kind of floundered until 95 when he was killed off. When I heard DC Comics was bringing back Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern, I was skeptical. And then I heard Jeff Johns was writing him, which had me conflicted. I like Jeff Johns as a writer. I'm not a huge fan of Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern. I love Kyle Rayner as the Green Lantern. I grew up with him as the Green Lantern. I was very worried that they would either put the character off in some limbo, kill him off altogether. Jeff Johns handled it perfectly. It focuses on Kyle Rayner and Hal Jordan in those beginning issues. And it gave him a personality. Hal Jordan was a badass, and I loved it. Since 2005, Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern has been consistently well-written, and I believe there's this new interest in the character that has led to the movie being greenlit. I, for one, look forward to seeing it. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern's light.